to the fair But nobody was there A trip to the fair But nobody was there A creak as the dodgems came onto the scene Wheels began turning, I started to scream A carousel swung and hit the ground Hello, good morning, it's me, it's Jim It is Friday, we've got to the end of the week <sighs> I got to the end of the week It's been a slog this week it, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you um, Yeah, a uh, little boy's been off sick all week uh, Eventually getting back to school today On the last day of the week Which means I can get out here And start listening to music and play some stuff. This is Scheherazade and other stories from Renaissance. I listened to them uh, for the first time in April, uh, beginning of this year, and uh, to say it blew me away is kind of a bit of an understatement. I absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. A really, really interesting sort of spin on the whole sort of progressive music thing, sort of really leaning heavily into into the, into the classical side of it. And... Um, Annie Haslam's vocals are just otherworldly, just beautiful, absolutely sensational. And some of the melodies that she came up with, uh, just wow, absolutely. I, they're kind of tunes that, as soon as you hear them, it's like you've known them all your life. They're just so, just so, so perfect, so, such perfect little melodies. And uh, just so I'm hoping that we're going to get sort of more of the same on here. So this is a, an album of two sides. We have, where's my glasses? Um, side one, uh, we have three tracks. Uh, Trip to the Fair, The Vultures Fly High, and Ocean Gypsy. But side two is made up of one big piece, and it's called Song of Scheherazade. Uh, it's made up of nine different parts, Fanfare, The Betrayal, The Sultan, Love Theme, The Young Prince and Princess, as told by Scheherazade, Festival Preparations, Fugue for the Sultan, The Festival, and Finale. Now, on the back here, you won't be able to see it because the light's shining on it and stuff, but it's a little bit of a um, background upon what this is all about. Um, Scheherazade... Uh, so, Shahrazade is a... I'll start, I'll start that again. Um, upon discovering that his wife had been unfaithful to him, the Sultan, convinced that all women were similarly incapable of true fidelity and determined never to be deceived again, vowed to take a virgin bride every day. <laughs> and then have her executed at dawn. Oh, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? Um, this caused great distress to the people of the city, as each day another beautiful girl was sacrificed to the Sultan's pride. Until... Scheherazade was chosen as his new wife. In an attempt to end the slaughter, Scheherazade asked, as her last request, to tell a story to her sister and the Sultan until her execution at dawn. Drawing on her knowledge of poetry and Eastern legends, Scheherazade told a tale which totally enthralled the Sultan, but, as she intended, did not finish before dawn. Faced with the dilemma of having her put to death or... Hearing the end of the story, the Sultan's curiosity won, and he delayed her execution until the next day. This continued for a thousand and one nights, until the Sultan, by now deeply in love with Scheherazade, and unable to face losing her, renounced his vow, and she remained his wife for the rest of their days. Well, isn't that lovely? Now, whether she wanted to be his wife or not is, is sort of not really sort of talked about, but uh, certainly she's managed to sort of... <laughs> keep her head on her shoulders or however it was that she might be executed so yeah um that's that's side two um that sounds really interesting doesn't it right let's go oh by the way yes i have been um going through the the poll the list the the votes for what your what you think is is your favorite video of mine for 2022 so i'm sort of pulling all that together and compiling that and we'll start making that I've, I've, I've already shot the intro for it, but I need to start doing the, sort of the rest of it now. So the uh, I'll be that'll probably be up at some point next week. 
But uh, in the meantime, let's listen to Scheherazade and other stories by Renaissance. <laughs> Three, two, one. There. I love that piano. There's a lot of piano on the first record, Turn of the Cards. Sounds really good. Really clean. To look at the fair When I arrived I found nobody there It seemed I was all alone Must be that they've all gone home A trip to the fair But nobody was there A trip to the fair Voices of yesterday make not a sound Even the roundabout stopped going round I wonder just what it means Is everything how 
So simply, it has become. Okay, so let's change again. It's got it's almost like a jazzy feel to it. I thought this was going to go. Was about to go folky when she starts singing, but it's gone in a very different direction.
just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I think I'm starting to remember some of the thoughts I had when I listened to Renaissance eight months ago, how long ago it was, that um, it's kind of, un- you can't categorise it very easily, because it's, it's almost like sort of theatre music or film music, but it, without having a, a play or a film for it, and it's, uh, it's just, it's just so wonderfully creative. I oh, just, I love this. I love this. Right, track two. Track two is The Vultures Fly High. While in the streets of all our fears, That's they reign supreme as all this they are a very obvious comparison to make. Um, I don't think I made this with Kate Bush, but this predates Kate Bush by some years, five, six, seven years, whether Kate was influenced by this, I don't know. But, um, there are similarities, not just because they are both female singers. I think it sometimes takes having a female singer to actually to strip away some of the sort of the the, the aggression or masculinity there is in some music. You actually don't need to have heavy guitars. You can still say the same story and have the music being beautiful. Oh, I love that synth sound. I absolutely adore that synth sound. Um, You don't need to have sort of, uh, sort of like a heavy guitar, or not even heavy guitar, or guitars at all. Um, and sometimes it takes a, I may be sort of generalising, but perhaps it's, you need a woman to actually say, that's just a load of bullshit, you don't need all that stuff. Just tell the story, tell them, play the music as it is. Don't be afraid to not have a guitar in the band. <laughs> I've been completely wrong about that. It's, uh, Try to take it all away Learn her freedom just inside a day And find her soul to find their fears allayed Try this to is make her love Ocean Gypsy. Own. They took her love, they left her there They gave her nothing back that she would want to own Gold and silver
Then she met a hollow soul, filled him with her light and was consoled. She was the moon and he the sun was gold. Eyes were blinded with his light, the sun she gave reflected back the night. I said it before, I'll say it again. I mean, the obvious thing is her voice, but that bass guitar tone is just beautiful. I love it. Everything actually, to be fair. Bit like a, a little bit like awaken.
Ah, oh, it's not often that. Um, oh no, it is often actually. But it's uh, some music can turn a grown man to tears, and I think this. I'm on the verge of this. This is just absolutely beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, right, let's um, rescue. Um, uh, right, there we go. Side one of Shahrazade and other stories. Um, so, obviously, um, I mean, we need to talk about Annie Annie Haslam's voice. I mean, she's just got the most incredible, beautiful, beautiful voice. But I think it really needs to be said um, that John Tout keyboards and vocals. John Camp, bass, bass pedals, vocals, Terence Sullivan, drums, percussion, vocals, and Michael Dunford, acoustic guitars and vocals, are all doing sensational things here. Um, so the songwriting is just absolutely... I mean, this is more than just sort of like songwriting. It seems more more symphonic. I mean, this is symphonic music, Um it's. I guess it's. It is lumped in as prog, um, but the sort of progressive music is such a broad, wide um, thing that it could be sort of uh, jazz or metal or uh, folk or reggae even, and it could be all sorts of stuff. And it is all sort of progressive because the. the progressive means that it's, it's moving forward and doing things and being um and continuously changing and progressing um so in that sense yes it is and i guess you could then say all classical music is progressive um but that sort of becomes very very unwieldy and and difficult to sort of think about but this kind of feels like it's uh uh a seesaw a balance between sort of the classical leanings of I'd like to say probably John Tout. Has he written all of this? Uh, no, actually. Let's have a... Um, so these are written primarily uh, Michael Dunford. So he's got his name up first on these. So I don't know if that means that he's the sort of main songwriter. Uh, David... It's an Ocean Gypsy, this last one. I don't know who's Thatcher. We've got another name in here. Oh, right, no, all songs composed by Michael Dunford and Betty Thatcher. So who's Betty Thatcher? Um, so that's that's incredible. And then we've also got other names in there as well where the work's been, uh, stuff's been added in. But... Uh, so the guy who just sort of plays a little bit of a plays a little bit of acoustic. So the last name in the name of the musicians on this album is actually the main songwriter with Betty Thatcher, whoever whoever Betty Thatcher is. But, uh, it's just just sensational, sensational writing, and the musicianship is absolutely stellar. It's absolutely stellar. Um, it is just so lovely to hear something like this which is uh, a work of art it genuinely is a work of art um, and I don't know how else this could be presented other than on a record um, well CD obviously and I don't mean that but uh, it it just it's just wonder, absolutely beautiful beautiful music um, I'm kind of Lost for words a little bit on this. Um, yes, I think we need to listen to side two. Uh, Shahrazade, song of Shahrazade. I think it's called, isn't it? Uh, what's it called? Song of Shahrazade. Yeah. So let's get on to part two. Side two. I'll see you guys on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. And until then, this is Jim over and.